a servant of God, I am Robert Simon. Beloved in Christ, loving greetings. Christian world talks much about in these days faith confession. What is faith confession? What does the Bible say about it? Does faith confession release mystical magical power or psychological power or spiritual power? Let us consider Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. What does it mean? Death and life, or success and failure, or profit and loss, or health and sickness, are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it, love speaking death and life, love speaking success and failure, or profit and loss, or health and sickness, shall eat the fruit thereof. They have to face the result of what they speak. So there is power in our tongue. In a study performed by the Royal Horticultural Society, Researchers discovered that talking to your plants that too pleasantly and positively really can help them grow faster. They also found that plants grow faster to the sound of a female voice than to the sound of a male voice. Okay. It is also true that the child in the womb, the fetus, can respond and react to the voices, especially of the mother, whether it is laughter or lamentation. We read in Luke chapter 1 verse 41, And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb. We have all these statements where the power of the tongue is seen. But now, Faith confession may also sound similar, but it is not so. Faith confession is entirely different. It has got two major parts. Let us consider Romans chapter 10 verse 10 to understand this. Romans chapter 10 verse 10. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth Confession is made unto salvation. Part 1 With the heart, man believeth unto righteousness, to have a right standing with God. He believes in his heart. So believing is not positive thinking. Believing is based on God's word, his spoken or written word. Faith comes because of the operation of God's word in us. Hearing that comes by the word brings faith. Let me repeat it. Hearing that comes by the word, word of God, brings faith. And the second part, because of that faith, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Because of the fullness of the mouth, because of the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. That brings deliverance, that brings rescue, that brings the result. When faith is in operation, we shall have the assurance that it shall come to pass. And we shall not doubt if we would be put to shame. We shall not doubt if we would be put to shame. That is why we read in Romans 10.11 Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Praise God. Once an American preacher asked an African boy in a mission church what the boy liked the most in the scriptures with no hesitation nor a wink of thought that little boy replied, This sentence in the Bible, what sentence? The statement, It shall 
come to pass. The boy loved this statement. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Whatever the Lord has promised to you. Surely. Amen. I God willing will meet you in my next talk. Till then. God bless you. God be with you. I am yours. Robert Simon.